happening everybody it's sean with reactions to the classics and today we got a song battle we got bdi sons of the stage versus the verve catching the butterfly brought to us by our friend and longtime patron supporter of the channel craig thank you craig always appreciate the stuff you bring if you guys would like to help us out our patrons keep this thing going we're so appreciative of each and every one of them check out the patreon link below we're going to be checking out youtube videos for these two songs let's do a little background on the first one. First up is going to be bdi sons of the stage i didn't even know bdi existed craig so thank you for bringing this to me craig says i love me some oasis but was very underwhelmed by bdi they just didn't have the songwriting with noel not around this is probably BDI's best song, perhaps because they didn't write it. A Sheffield band called World of Twist did. That being said, the BDI version is much better than the World of Twist version. And here's what I found about a background on BDI. English rock band formed in London in 2009 by former Oasis members, Liam Gallagher, Jim Archer on guitar, Andy Bell on guitar, and Chris Chirac on drums. They were created when Oasis's lead guitarist and primary songwriter Noel Gallagher left the band in August of 2009, and they decided just to uh, keep the band and basically rename it and continue making music. They only had two studio albums, Different Gear Still Speeding in 2011 and B in 2013, both of which reached the UK Top 5 album chart. They only had one UK Top 40 single with The Roller, and it peaked at 31, so album success not single success. They received some praise from Oasis fans, with Q claiming that their, debut, that their debut album was the best Liam had performed on since Oasis's What's a Story, Morning Glory. They disbanded in 2014. That's going to make me want to listen to that first album. You know, maybe the inspiration for Liam that Noel was gone and he wanted to prove himself might be why that got such a claim. We're going to look, as I said, at a YouTube video, a live version of the song at the Empress Ballroom. Uh, from Blackpool uh, in 2011. I will say, if this gets blocked, and it probably will because the videos oftentimes get blocked, check out the link below. You can watch along with me uh, and, and experience the full reaction if you just want to know what I think to stick around here because I'll be right back. But hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get blocked, but but I have a feeling it will. And if you like you some Oasis, we got What the Story Morning Glory up on the channel. We got an Oasis Top 10 and we got an Oasis Top 10 song battle. Oasis, Oasis B-Sides versus Stone Roses B-Sides. So we do like us some Oasis here. So here is BDI. And guys, I really want you to be able to see this video. That's the important part. So I'm going to slide all the way over here and make this box pretty big so you can see it. Let's check this out. Nice one for coming out, see you again. Cool venue, man.
security guys are like, what are you doing? What a performance. BDI, Sons of the Stage. Fantastic environment there, man. It looked like a really cool place. You can tell they got the money from Oasis, right? They got all that money they made because they sound phenomenal. Uh, their, their set is great. Got the light show. They, they got that coinage to uh, still put on a fantastic show. Cool at the end, Liam goes out into the audience a little bit. He's not in the audience, but he's right by them. As I'm sure those security guards were like, dude, what are you, what are you doing, man? But it uh, looked like it was ending this show, so fantastic. I gotta tell you, I could only understand about 30% of what he was singing. It's more about the atmosphere and the guitar. I'm looking at the lyrics. While he didn't write them, it's something that Oasis could have written because a lot of Oasis' lyrics don't really mean anything. It's more about how they kind of fit together in the melody. Uh, out of our minds on the stage, out of our minds on the stage. That's what he says at the end of the first verse and at the end of the last verse. There's two verses. He says that twice. And then he jumps down and goes out in the crowd. I mean, I thought he sounded great. It was just hard to understand because everything was so loud and going in. But I really did enjoy that. It's great to watch the live performance because you really feel that energy. With that said, now we're going to go to the live performance of the Verve. And Craig says... This, this Verve song is a deeper cut from 1997's Urban Hymns, which is something of a masterpiece. There are many who feel there were three untouchable albums released that year. Urban Hymns, OK Computer, got to review that up on the channel, and Spiritualized, Ladies and Gentlemen, We Are Floating in Space. Don't know that one. With a strong case to be made for any of them. For those of you that don't know, which if you're in the UK, you do know, but for those of us in America, The Verve only had one hit here. The Verve were an English rock band formed in 1990 by lead vocalist Richard Ashcroft, guitarist Nick Maccabee, and bass guitarist Simon Jones, and drummer Peter Salisbury. What we're going to be looking at here is a performance they did of this song. I'm not really sure where they are. It got blocked on YouTube, but my man... Craig brought me one from Vimeo, so I don't know where this is from, but it looks like quite the Gene the Butterfly by the Verve. What a performance, guys. And I mentioned during the reaction, I'm sure those of you that have been there know you know where this is. Is it at Glastonbury? Is it at Slane Castle? Some outdoor festival, obviously. Uh, and it, it looked like just, it's incredible when you looked out from his view, right, of what he saw. My goodness. Basically, he's using Catching the Butterflies, like still chasing his dream. And it talks about in verse one, so you're born, and so you thought the future's ours to keep and hold. Oh, child within has healing ways that sees her through my darkest days. I'm going to keep catching that butterfly and that dream of mine and my lucid dreams. You know, there's not a lot of lyrics to this. They're just, they're powerful. The performance is powerful. I'll tell you what. 
they sound absolutely fantastic from the instrumentation from the guitars the bassist the drummer and then obviously the vocals are spot on i mean absolutely spot on so now i got to pick a winner i'm going to have to go with the verve on this one this album starts off with bittersweet symphony that's the only song i know i was spinning that song like crazy in 1997 uh, here over in the states i'm gonna have to check this album out i know the verve is very well thought of just like i said someone that never really caught on in America. Um, I thought that BDI's performance was still good. If you ask me which venue I'd rather be at, I'd rather be at the venue that BDI was at. That looked legit, even though the other one looked fun. That is a lot of people to be in the middle of for this old guy. Craig, appreciate you always. Guys, let me know what you think down below. Who won this thing? And until next time, guys, I will see you.